no, there's no, no editing. Uh, hola, amigos. Hola. Let's see, uh, so we got Roberto and what's Megan on, on, on Espanol? <laughs> Megano? <laughs> sure. No, I think it's just Megan. Uh, we're in Mexico, down in Cabo San Lucas, which is beautiful. Yes, it's been, beautiful. It's been wonderful. We came down here, uh, I originally came down on Tuesday for a EO President's Meeting, so Entrepreneurs Organization's President Meeting. This is a little bit of a plug for EO, because <laughs> no one knows what EO is, uh, but if you check out eonetwork.org, uh, it's an organization for entrepreneurs all around the world. It represents 43 countries with over 12,000 members. And it's for uh, business owners over a million dollars in revenue and majority shareholders. And I've been the lucky uh, candidate to become president of Southwest Ontario. And as part of that, I got to go to the president's meeting. And it was two days of meeting awesome people. And Meg's got to come down day two, which yep. was epic. And we got to meet some really, really awesome people. And now we're spending some time together. Yes. So you want to kind of help people understand why I said that and what that's about? <laughs> uh, well, most of you know, we have three little guys and girls. Oh, yeah. uh, three, one, and one. So it's pretty busy at home, and uh, it gets pretty hard for us to spend quality time together. Uh, especially, you know, by the time the kids are all in bed, it's flop on the couch. <laughs> or, yeah, or, or we have work to do, yeah. you know? So it's, uh, it's hard to find that balance of making time for, for us. Um, so when Rob got this opportunity to come down here, it sort of worked out for us that I was able to meet him and, and get a little one-on-one -on -one time, just the two of us. And yeah. We've got some pretty amazing support at home that allows us to be here. So thank you to, uh, to all of those people. You know who you are. And we're very, very grateful, obviously, that, that we had this opportunity. It's pretty tough when you've got three kids that young to have that kind of support so yeah that's the truth and we both was we both come from families with divorced parents yes. and we kind of made this pact that we're going to stay together no matter what yeah. and as part of that we started to f try to figure out okay well how the heck are we going to do that if, it, if things get difficult in <laughs> <And do laughs> the last couple years not necessarily <laughs> been the easiest no um and so do you want to just share a little bit about the agreement we made on priorities yeah so uh, it's pretty easy when you have kids to uh, to make the assumption that your kids always come first and I know it sounds kind of bad to say that it's not true <laughs> but um, for us but for us we've realized that for us to create a happy home and a lasting home for our kids uh, we have to put each other first you know we have to make sure that we're we're meeting each other's needs the way you know in order to make us both feel fulfilled and happy and, you know. Um, so we can show up for our kids. Yeah. Yeah. And the whole idea is if we can stay strong, then we'll have the foundational support for the family nucleus. And then we can lead by example with love. We can lead by example with the way we show up in the world. We can lead by example with the things we do together and the way we communicate and all that good stuff. And uh, even being down here, it was really interesting to hear other EOers, because um, lots of people brought their life partners, wives, husbands, whatever. Uh, and and we're kind of younger than most. <laughs> uh, and it was just really interesting to hear some of the stories about how people, you know, got into into being parents and then their kids are all of a sudden, you know, whatever, six, seven, eight, and they maybe got a nanny or whatever, and now they're like, there's a wedge being driven between the yeah. relationship even with having all this support. Right. And so just hearing that idea, trying to help us proactively maintain that strong connection, I think was really helpful. The, the message, the common message we heard from everybody, was, even if they didn't really know they were saying it, was that they stopped putting time into each other, you know? Right. They got this extra help and then it sort of made it so that they didn't feel like they needed to connect anymore and um, and that's something that's really really easy to do you know you get such a small amount of free time that you're not being a parent or, or just somebody or looking working out for a home or, or whatever. whatever yeah, yeah. you know life <laughs> um, and then when you're done with that part of your day or week or whatever 
it's it's hard to prioritize prioritize that. You know, it's it's easy to just say, I'm out. I need to bed. Break. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I don't. Yeah. So it's been really important for us to to make that time together. Hence the hot tub. Yes. <laughs> we have a hot tub, <laughs> and it's uh, that's been huge for us to maintain our quality times. Forces us to have no distractions. Yeah, no TV, no great, cell phones. And it's, yeah, and <laughs> but, wonderfully relaxing. Yeah, but I mean, it's yeah, no TV, no TV, no phones, no nothing. You know, I mean, yeah. we're just it's just us talking to each other about whatever. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, we we talked about bringing our oldest hunter with us on this trip because uh, he hasn't been anywhere really like this with us and. And he's at that age now where it would be a lot of fun. But yeah. we both kind of decided, you know, it's been a really long year. We you know, we've struggled a lot with raising three kids in two years. And yeah. now that we're done, obviously. But No no really, we are uh, not having we're children. Done. Yes, that part we're done. Sorry, sorry. I meant it's still uh, difficult. Babe. Still difficult. So that's yeah. What I meant. yeah, we're not done raising our kids. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. So but you know, we kind of we've, we've managed to get over that first hump of difficult, and uh, decided that we needed we really did need to prioritize us because you know it's going to be another long year of, of parenting, and you know, we needed to recharge our batteries together and, and make sure that we're still solid, so that you know our kids have a good foundation that they can look up to and depend on. Yeah. Love you. Love you. <laughs> anyway, we just wanted to give a quick shout out uh, on that idea of. Partners in one, yeah. and everything else kind of comes together after that. It's kind of like that same thing around that uh, Keystone habit. Right. When we do that one thing, and we were talking about it in the last video, about the family dinner having an impact yeah. on yeah. on kids' happiness and grades and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Just this idea of even just annually getting someone on one time for like more than a day has uh, been really helpful. So hopefully that helps. Hasta luego. Yeah.